Apostel Nuhu. You found me. You handle that well. I should have heard him coming. Let myself get distracted. These people saw Mongols marching prisoners upriver. They had a blacksmith with them. Your brother? Sounds like it. They were taking him to a camp near the Canada Inlet. I know the place. Did you find any samurai to free your uncle? Not yet, but I'm still searching. I'm sure you'll find someone soon. <laughs> Taka can help you, after we save him. Hard to believe I might see him soon. He's lucky to have you. He might disagree. That's what siblings are for. What about you? Any brothers or sisters? Lord Shimura is my only family. What will you do when he's free? Take a breath. Because then I'll know there's hope for our island. You feel that strongly? I've watched him win victory against impossible odds. And after your brother is free, what then? Honestly, I haven't had time to think about it. You're riding well. How are your wounds? Mostly healed. Your bandages did the trick. You don't share much about how you feel, do you? I suppose you're right. My uncle taught me that a samurai masters his emotions, like you master a horse, or a blade. That's a hard way to live. It's not supposed to be easy. There's a spot up ahead that overlooks the river. Should give us a good view of the Mongol camp. There's the camp. Tough to get inside. The Mongols threw that place together in days. There has to be a way in. Let's look. We need to reach Taka, without putting him in danger. We'll find a safe approach. You could scale the rocks on that side. If they're loose, they might give way. Alert the guards. Defenses in back are formidable. The front wall there is still under construction. Could be a way in. We can look for a gap in the front wall. Slip inside. And cut down the Mongols where they stand. If something goes wrong, they'll kill the prisoners. I've seen them do it. We have to go in quietly. Like thieves. 
What's wrong with that? Before the samurai, this island was ruled by criminals. We changed that by creating order and delivering justice in the open. We live by a code of honor. And sometimes we die by it. Warriors like my father, who just wanted to give us a safer home. I want the same thing. But we have to fight back. I promised my uncle I'd never break our code. Then bend it. To save my family. And what's left of yours. Let's get a closer look. See what we're up against. We should wait until it gets darker. Let's move. Taka. He's been through a lot, even before the invasion. But you took care of him. Someone had to. He hated when I stole. But it was that or Star. I didn't have a choice. I didn't choose to be a samurai either. <clears throat> but going against my instincts, my code. It's better than getting wiped out by the Mongols. We have to fight back any way we can. Through here. see us, they'll kill the prisoners. Then we better stay quiet. And open their throats. Bear's running with a limp. Your arrow wounded him. This is when a beast is most dangerous. Remain alert. Yes, uncle. Keep after him. I didn't think bears lived here. They don't. But the fighting in Yarikawa drove some this way. So it's the rebels' fault. We should feed them to this bear as punishment. We are not barbarians, Jin. The bear stumbled here. Is it dying? No, but we're getting closer. Stay ready, Jin. Yes, Uncle. If it's still alive, can I take the shot? Prove you can control your emotions. Then... We got him! Careful! He could still be alive. This arrow should not have killed him. Look, Uncle. There's a gash in his side. Not from an arrow. An assassin! From Yarikawa! Traitor! You would stab the Chido in the back! Rosakai! Control yourself. We are not criminals like this man here. We are samurai. He tried to kill you. He must answer for this crime with his life. And look him in the eye. And teach him that samurai never acts out of anger or fear. And take his life with honor. When we fight, we face our enemy head on. When we take their life, we look them in the eye with courage and respect. 
This is what makes us samurai. Only cowards strike from the shadows. Jin, what's wrong? Let's find your brother. We can't let them see us. Use all your senses. Think and move like a thief. Let's find out. No, it's not Taka. How'd you get in here? We need to go. We'll talk when it's safe. Come on. Let's get to the river. We'll be safe there. Are you with the straw hat, Ronin? Was. Cut ties with them after they started running low on the rations. Lord Shimura has been captured, and I could use some extra swords to free him. Are you looking for work? No, but the other straw hats may be. Last I heard, they were hunting Mongols in Tsitsu Prefecture, by the coast near the Kishi grasslands. This way. We're looking for my brother, a blacksmith named Taka. I don't know him, but a lot of prisoners move through here. You said they were moving the slaves. Where? They mentioned Asimo Bay. And there was a blacksmith in the last group. A young man with a beard. From Yarikawa, maybe. You'd better be right. I hope you find your blacksmith. Taka's alive in Asimo Bay. The town is surrounded by walls. Rushing in without a plan will only put him in more danger. 
I have a friend who might be able to get us inside. Find him. The sooner we rescue Tucker, the sooner we save my uncle. Jin. Tucker will forge whatever tool you need as soon as he's free. But after that, we're leaving the island. You've seen what the Mongols are doing here. Lord Shimura can stop them. Stay. Help us fight for a home. Home is wherever Taka and I go. My friend lives in Asmo Prefecture, on the border with Tsutsu. I'll find you there. I know this wasn't easy. Going against your code. I did what I had to. Thank you. Lord Shimura. You deserve better than this. Convince your people to stop resisting, and you can walk free. Stop wasting my time. Kill me. You think you've lost everything. But your nephew is still alive. <laughs> my men control the roads. They build war camps near your towns. They see everything, and they will find him. Lord Sakai will fight until his last breath, as will I. You love him, just as you love your people. You're a father to them. Will you abandon your children? I won't make them your slaves. 